Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have a quick video tasting of three different chips. So two of these are from the brand Hers, which we're a bit unfamiliar with. It's not one that we see in our typical grocery stores around here. No. Yeah, I looked on the back, it says they're from Pennsylvania. So I don't know if they're common in other parts of the US and just not here, but we did find these at a store called Five Below. It's the only store we found them. Yeah, yeah. So we're curious to give these a try. They're both, they remind me of Cheetos, the looks of them. They are cheese curls, it says, with different flavors. And as a little bonus, we have some Lay's here as well, which are also cheese. So I guess it's kind of a cheese theme. <laughs> you love cheese. I love cheese. So first one up, let's try this grilled cheese and tomato soup. So we were very intrigued by this particular flavor. Yes. Uh, it doesn't seem very often that we have uh, tomato, like ketchup, mm -hmm. cocktail, prawn sauce, chips. But when we saw this, of uh, tomato soup, you know. Maybe we're getting close there. And I know grilled cheese and tomato soup, that's kind of a nice comfort food lunch. Yeah that we have here. How's it smell? It smells... Nope. Oh. Kind of smells like tomato soup to me a bit. Yeah. They look a lot like Cheetos. And they look like they're going to make our fingers <laughs> bright orange. <laughs> yeah, so I need to be careful when I use your tea towels because... Yes. Yeah, I was on report last time for getting Cheeto dust on your tea towels. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah. I am getting the tomato soup flavoring in there. And of course with a little cheese dusting. Yeah. yeah I can taste tomato. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And some cheese. Yeah, not bad. Tastes like um, the puffy cheetos that we have here with um with some tomato flavor in them yeah yeah it's funny how we've had like ketchup flavored chips in it oh that actually does taste like ketchup mm -hmm. yeah i feel like maybe not quite as tangy mm -hmm. say as some of the tomato flavored or ketchup flavored chips we've had from other countries right but it's nice i mind snacking on these for something a little different besides your plain cheetos mm -hmm. a little something different not mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. I was a little bit skeptical. <laughs> we have that um, little observation. Usually the chips are supposed to be better quality. The bags are matted where this is glossy. So. <laughs> I don't think we've done a scientific study on that, though. We've noticed it firsthand. <laughs> okay. All right. So next up is <sighs> buffalo blue cheese flavor. Ross isn't excited about this one. So for anybody that's not familiar with buffalo wings these the buffalo sauce is uh, vinegar cayenne pepper hot sauce and butter typically done on a chicken wing and i guess the name buffalo comes from supposedly it would originate in buffalo new york so that's what i could find about buffalo chicken and also with the blue cheese i forgot to mention since it is a spicy type of a dish often served as an appetizer usually it comes with celery sticks, cut up celery sticks with blue cheese to kind of, you can eat in between and cool down your mouth. Yeah. Ross is not a fan. He doesn't like the buffalo sauce flavor. No, I don't. It's about as appealing as stomach acid. <laughs> so. I do not like buffalo <laughs> sauce at all. Never have, and I'm only doing this for you. I was gonna so. say, he's gonna be brave and he's gonna give this a try. Yeah. I, I might have this whole bag to myself. I, I'm pretty sure you will have this whole. I'm not getting a lot of scent off of it. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I don't really I was smelling anything I know, me too It does have a little spiciness to it Okay, that's, that's not so bad Yeah, because I'm thinking If somebody just gave me that and ask me to identify the flavor, I just say, oh, it's a spicy, cheesy flavor. I don't know if it would immediately say buffalo sauce to me. Yeah, that to me, if that was buffalo sauce, that's pretty pretty tame. Yeah. Uh, again, to me, buffalo sauce 
It was right up there with stomach acid. <laughs> yeah, it is not pleasant at all. I wouldn't go for it at any time, but these are actually not too bad. They're mm -hmm. a little spicy, but not overpoweringly spicy. They're not bitter. Uh, yeah, and, not too much of the vinegary, which I think that's probably what gets to use the vinegar in the buffalo wing sauce. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, actually, these aren't bad. Mm -hmm. I made a slight bit of that blue cheese flavor. Because that's the cheese flavor they're supposed to have in here is the blue cheese. And you do love blue cheese, so I do. it's got that going for it. Yes. It has that uh, redeeming value. Mm-hmm. Oh, not bad. All right, so you'll be able to, you'll be able to handle these. <laughs> and last up, we have these Lay's layers. I've never tried these layers. It says three cheese flavored. On the back, it says bite-sized layers, crispy layers, and tasty layers. I'm so not the tasty, exactly sure what that means, but so the tasty layers are not crispy. I yeah, you got me. Okay, crispy layered potato bites. Oh, we'll see. So these are potato, whereas these are are these corn. Uh, I yeah, I believe they are. Yeah. Um, oh, well, that's a new shape. Looks like a or little lays. At least to me. Looks like a little pillowy blister of flavor. Yeah. What do you think? They're not bad. Hmm. Okay. Kind of weak on the cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's um, when I'm eating it. Yeah, it tastes like oh, it tastes like a corn, crunchy corn snack. But and it's supposed to be a potato. Is it? Yeah, what? it's supposed to be like a potato chip. Uh, yeah, I was thinking. It doesn't come across strongly as a potato chip though, and not strongly as a cheese flavored one either. Yeah, uh, neither. Okay, yeah, it's. I mean, it's kind of different. Yeah, it's, I will say it's not one of those overly seasoned snacks, so you can eat a few and it's, okay, this is just too much, and kind of getting sick off of it. Light cheese flavor to it, it's, yeah, it's crispy, and it has kind of a hot shape to it, but... It's, yeah, it's I mean, kind of interesting texture to it, the light and crispy, kind of wrapped up mm -hmm. in layers, as it says. It does say no artificial flavors. Well, there's something, and I'm looking at the ingredients, it's supposed to have, so it has cheddar cheese, Garlic powder. I'm looking for it says three. Oh, the Parmesan and Gouda. Hmm. One of those things. If I try hard enough, maybe I can taste Parmesan. <laughs> yeah. But that's different. It's all right. Yes, I wouldn't throw it out. It's no, I mean we'll definitely go through them. I don't know if I'd run out to get those again. I wasn't yeah. overly impressed. I don't even think, you know, compared to we've had like the cheese and onion crisps from the UK which we really enjoyed yeah and maybe part of that too is you know the addition of that onion flavor in there but I don't think we have well maybe we do have some cheese flavor potato type chips but it's not as common oh uh, well yeah, correct me if I'm wrong but I, I think like sometimes we go shopping and we can see um, you know, talking about cheese potato like chips what about the cheddar flavored uh, potato chips that are brightly colored what about those? I'm trying to picture who, who is that Lay's? Ruffles. Yeah, Ruffles. Ruffles. I guess, yeah, I guess I just haven't had those. Yeah. I don't think I've even tried them. Because uh, usually when I go for something cheese flavored, it's going to be like a Cheeto. Yeah. One of the corn snacks. Yeah, if it's going to be the Cheetos, it'll be the crunchy, not the puffy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so those, those are okay. Okay, but of the three, of the three, madam, <laughs> tomato soup, grilled cheese, buffalo sauce, and blue cheese, and this three cheese lays what was your favorite um i might go for the buffalo beef because you know I, I do like buffalo chicken wings and yeah. i like that buffalo sauce these were good too it's kind of nice to have that tomato flavor in there that's a little bit different from what we normally have so i would say i'd probably go this one this one and then the lays okay. in last place what about you I would go, I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to go with the... I am surprised. Because 
it wasn't as strong as the typical buffalo sauce um, that I just can't stand. It, it's, <laughs> it's not that strong. It does have a little bite to it. More, mm -hmm. I think it just has a little more something than, more kick. Yeah. than these two. I agree. Yeah, it has a little bit more flavor and bite. And maybe just the addition of that blue cheese is something a little bit different flavor than we get from our typical cheese snacks yeah. that would typically be what cheddar I think is usually with the flavor they're going after right would you make a puff pudding <laughs> probably not I don't know that that would be very easy to do you would make a puff buddy uh, what about a, a crisp buddy no no they're not flavorful enough I don't think I don't know okay plus they'd probably make a mess you'd buy into them and get get little pieces all over <laughs> just a thought <laughs> And now we have to go clean off our fingers from the bright orange. Yes, very carefully <laughs> so we don't leave any powder residue yes. on your tea towels. Okay. Okay. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.